I sometimes wonder what I'm doing with my life. It is the 23rd of December, two days before Christmas. It is pissing down. I'm in East Kilbride. But we have the top scorers versus the worst defence in the Lowland League. I couldn't miss that, despite the weather and despite it almost being Christmas. Mick, here we go. I'm back. East Kilbride. Things seem to be going well. You're the top scorers in the league. Today you're playing against the worst defence in terms of the amount of goals conceded, Gretna. Um, how do you plan going into these games? Probably just similar to other games, to be fair. Listen, to be fair to Gretna, I think we played them at the start of the season. They were struggling a little bit, but they've picked up some results. So then seem a wee bit more organised, a bit more disciplined. So, uh, aye, so it'll be a difficult game, I'm sure. Listen, every game we play has been a difficult game at home. So I, I'm no doubt today will be very similar. And we're two days away from Christmas. How do you keep the lads motivated around this time of year? That's not, I, I said at the beginning of January, it's a real important part of the season, I think. Over the piece December and January, I think whoever comes out the other end of that really strong will be in the title race, so it's mm -hmm. important to pick up as many points as we possibly can. So, And to the fans, are you expecting many today? Obviously, two days before Christmas. No, I think so, I just because there's not a lot of games on as well. So I, f I think, listen, the fans have come out. I think I tweeted it this morning, like record sort of numbers and record yep. season tickets. So they've been fantastic. So I'm, I'm sure today it'll be a busy day. I know the weather's not particularly great, yeah. to be fair. Uh, but hopefully, no, no too many people are doing Christmas shopping to make it along. The team is Celtic in the first. You got the Barcelona yeah, trackies yeah. on today. Barcelona trackies. A little bit different today, East yeah. Kilbride to Barcelona. How have the lads been playing this season? Um, this season's been really good, I think. Um, definitely better than last season. Frankie? Yep. You've watched a lot of East Kilbride this season. What have you yeah. thought of them? Pretty good. Only lost one and it's halfway through, so not done too bad. And the game that they lost was here, wasn't it, against Hearts B? Mm -hmm. And Hearts B are having a good season themselves. Yeah. So it's not the worst loss in the world. But wasn't the wasn't Hearts B manager done the United manager? Yes, yeah. I believe. Is it Liam Fox? Yeah, I think is he, yeah, okay, so decent side of a good manager. Um, but today they're playing Gretna. For bottom, so. I think they're one above bottom. Are they? I think Edinburgh University might be bottom, uh. I think. But they're down there anyway. Mm. What do you think the score will be? Five down, going. I'd say 3-0 comfortable. 2-0. Uh, and we've just been talking off camera there about um, the Lowland League, the Highland League, Bottom League 2 and the playoffs and stuff. What are your thoughts on the pyramid itself at this it's, level? It's a very very tough system. It's not like in the Vararama League down in England where you just you go up and you, you get all that money. But down here it's, it's a bit tougher. You know, you have to play numerous teams to get up and there's no guarantee. You, beat, you win the league, you then beat the playoff team. You know, there's no guarantee you go up. Which is, it's annoying, but it's the way the league is. You won't believe it, but Gretna have just scored. Gretna, who I've scored less goals than they played games this season. In typical Footy Adventures fashion, I've completely missed the goal. Um, but yeah, amazing how Gretna are beating East Kilbride, considering where they are in the league. It's tough for Gretna where they are um, geographically to attract players, I think. Um, they've had a rough couple of years, the last couple of years, where they finished in the Lowland League. Oh. Oh. Happy birthday, Jen. Is she an East Kilbride supporter? Yeah, no, she's in Lifko Rose. She's in, oh, right, in Lifko Rose, of yeah. all people. Right, so, Jen, happy birthday. You'll be in my video, and uh, yeah, all the best. Have a good one. Thank you very Cheers, much. Cheers, mate. And what's the final score going to be today? 2-1. Two, 2-1, two, two, one, you reckon? They've not been good in the first half, have they? No. Oh. 
What have you thought the first half then? <laughs> been pretty bad, hasn't it? It's a, a surprise how the game's going so far. Every time you call me for the It's not my fault, mate. There you go. Got your reaction for the goal. There you go. There you go. First half, finish a break. Number 22, Andy Stolen. There we go. The second goal of the game and the second one we've missed. But we've got the reaction of these guys here. Weather-wise, this has got to be probably the most depressing game I've ever been to. Look at this. The colour of the sky. The rain. They've turned it around. There we go, 2 1. I've actually recorded a goal, would you believe it? Oh, what a save! How has he kept that out? That was a good save, wasn't it? East Kilbride have now got 99 goals, you say? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Two days before Christmas, one more, and they've got 100 goals in all comps this season. How many will they end on, do you reckon? Before Christmas? Just end of the season. 200. It's got to be. <laughs> 4 1, East Kilbride. 100 goals. 100 goals this season, and it's the 23rd of December. This is the worst weather you've seen yeah, down here at East Kilbride. Absolutely, absolutely. Two days before Christmas. It's been well. going two different ways. Do you know what I, mean? I know, look at that, the rain just, know, it's non stop for hours and hours. Okay, sorry, good seeing you, mate. What, uh, what a day for it. Oh, brilliant. What else would you rather be there with your Saturday? What, two uh, days before Christmas being out in the rain? And I've just, I've had the cold as well, Look mate. Look well. Last thing I needed, but... Never mind the weather, that first half did me. Yeah, what, what did you say to the lads at half-time? Uh, I think you can imagine what was said. It wasn't, there was no speaking, there was a lot of shouting. Yeah. Uh, obviously, to be fair, when you come off such a good result and performance last week against Celtic like, or oh, Wrexham, it's always the worry that maybe you think, oh, I've cracked it and it's only Gretna now because of the position yeah. in the league. But first and foremost, you need to give a lot of credit to Gretna because I thought they were very good, very competitive. You could tell they came here wanting to win the game. Um, and uh, they outworked us and outmuscled us and outthought us in the first half. So Second balls, it looked like they were getting to Second balls, they were running all the time. The basics of football, they'd done better than us in the first half. So just say that that's never acceptable for us, mate. Everyone sees us as this mad possession based football team that want to play free flowing football. but. We didn't do the basics well in football, and we got a chance in the game, so it's a bit reminding them of that. Uh, and second half, we went out and done that goal much better. And second half, you scored four goals. That's your hundredth goal of the season. Goals this season. A hundred goals this season. Now, it's it's Xander Kelly. <laughs> he's the main man. Yeah, he's the main man. A uh, hundred goals are incredible. Incredible. Like I say we've came in with basically a brand new team, mate, and, and you see, there's we've had a lot of injuries. So there's been a lot going out and a lot coming in. So you're always trying to. Try to show new people how we play because it's yeah. quite it's quite complex at times. So for the boys to take that on board and go and score 100 goals, um, it really is at this stage of the season. Yeah. Kind of. And so Christmas time for you, obviously you got open goal, you got things here at East Kilbride, right, the family as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you and how are you managing everything that you got going Desperate on in your life? Desperate for a break, wee break, mate. So I, we finished Thursday for open goal for two weeks. I've got here, got here, wee two wee break. So um, but then we're still in here, we're in here Boxing Day. So yeah. No uh, rest. Go up to Dundee for our, our, uh, for our dinner, stay on night and then drive back to the game on Tuesday. Oh wow. Oh god, I just legged it back to the car. What a terrible day. Probably the grimmest game of football that I've seen all year and it's come right at the end. There you go. Good to see he's killed Bride. 100 goals this season now in all competitions and top of the Lowland League and flying. Really interesting game actually considering the first half how good Gretna were. We've seen Gretna play a lot on this channel. Um, they've never done too well, but that was probably one of the best performances, especially particularly the first half that I've seen from them. Given where they are, um, I think they can be really proud of that performance. I am knackered, by the way. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.